Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Today we're going to take a look at putting together some pieces to make a notification system that works with Proxbox. Let's take a look. On your screen, you'll see Gotify, their website, gotify.net. Gotify is a simple server, as it says, for sending and receiving messages. Great. So what we want to do is we want to use an app on our phone, be able to receive messages from our Proxmox server. Gotify provides that. So it's free and open source. It can run on Docker. It's cross-platform, written in Go, and it's simple, right? So what I did today is I went over to PikaPods, which you're now seeing, and I've covered in a previous video. You're seeing PikaPods. I spun up a virtual server, uh, JDL Gotify, and it is running on, this is running on half a CPU core, half a gig of RAM, and it's got 10 gigs of storage, which is probably overkill, but uh, the monthly cost for this is $1.90 a month. So spun this up, and that results in this Gotify website, which I'm already logged into. Now, this has a concept of clients, which is gonna be things like your phone and apps, which is where you would set up your token to communicate with the server, right? Not difficult stuff, but, so let's create a new application. We're gonna call this PVE01, and we'll say create. And now we wanna take, and we're gonna copy the token for PVE01, and we're gonna go over here. Here is PVE01. Make this just a little bit bigger for people to see. So we're gonna come down here to notifications. We are gonna say add, and look at that, Gotify is one of the options that we've got available in Proxmox. Okay, so we're gonna call the endpoint name JDL-Gotify, which is what I called my server. We're gonna paste in the token, and let me grab my URL from my notes, copy link, and we'll paste this in, and we want to take off that part, and then we'll say add. All right, so we should be ready to rock with Gotify and the PV01 Proxmox server, at least enough to test it, right? So if we come here, we'll say test, we'll say yes, and it says sent test notification to JDL Gotify. Okay, great. But there's another step. Down here at the bottom, under notification matchers, we've got to edit this default matcher. And this third tab, targets to notify. We want to check the box and include Gotify on that. So if we do this and then come here and test again, say yes, it sent. And then if we bump over to Gotify and go to all messages, we can see we've got two notifications where I sent the test both times. So I'm going to repeat this process on the other two Proxmox nodes, and then we'll take a look at Proxmox backup server. All right, we've done the identical procedure on each of the three Proxmox nodes. Now we're gonna go over and look at Proxmox backup server because I have not tried this yet. Let's take a look. 
So obviously this is set up just a little bit different, but here in the main menu, we've got notifications and the rest of this should be the same. So we'll go back to Gotify, apps, create application, we'll call it PBS, create, we'll copy the key, we'll say add, Gotify, paste in the API token, And then grab, once again, the link. Keep in mind that if you have a trailing slash in your server URL, it will not work. And the error message is a little on the cryptic side, but we figured this out earlier today. Add, we'll test, yes. So that went through successfully. We'll go to PBS over here and here again, we've got that. So we can come to number four. We'll modify this. And then again, targets to notify. We'll put Gotify on. Now, all is good on that realm. But let's take a look at the Gotify app. And as you might be able to see on here, that has received all of the notifications. So the only thing I'd like to do is to make this a little bit different as far as showing me what um, server each notification is coming from. That's a, a minor thing that I can work out, but I wanted to at least show this part. Now, the other piece of this notification puzzle that I haven't quite um, had the chance to experiment with is what about an SMTP relay? So if we take a look here again, we're on Proxmox backup server, but SMTP is an option as well as webhooks. So with the webhook option, you should be able to target something like Discord or Slack or some of the other chat type applications that a team in an organization might be using, which it's just me here, but I do have a Proxmox server running at the library just for experimentation purposes. However, the new guy has some limited access to that Proxmox server. So what I'd like to do is have this set up on that Proxmox server, not only with Gotify, but if I do an SMTP relay, then I should be able to get notifications even if I'm outside the building. Currently, the way Gotify is set up, it appears that even though it's in both cases, the server talks to a uh, Docker container in the cloud. So I should be able to send from the Proxmox machine at the library to that server, the Docker server, and then receive the notifications on my phone. There are some odd messages um, saying that I'm disconnected and weird things like that, even though I had internet access on the whole drive home and when I arrived here. So I will be experimenting with the SMTP relay option and also with the web hooks at some future point in time. And when I do, we'll get another video out and expand this playlist for Proxmox and hopefully add some value for all of you fine people that are using or evaluating for future use what the capabilities of Proxmox are. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube that will allow you to get a good feel for what Proxmox is capable of and make an informed decision. All right, that is going to wrap things up for this video. I hope you got something out of this. Again, stay tuned for additional videos. We're going to stick on this notification bandwagon for a little while longer and test out some of this other functionality just so I've got documentation for myself and all of you hopefully don't have to go through the bumps in the road that uh, when I'm being dense, I sometimes run into.
But hey, it's all good. And again, I, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.